What's up everybody, Noah Lyles here and today we're gonna to be going over my drills. I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions about what I do and since my videos don't touch too much on it, we're gonna be going into detail right here. What are some of the angles I look for? What are the, the positions that I need to hit? And uh, how do I know when I'm having a good drill day? <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So the first drill is walking high knees. This is uh, a, a warm up into the drills per se. This is when you're gonna to touch bases with everything. This is what you're gonna work on, making sure that you get a 90 degree angle with your hips to your knee and your knee to your shin. You're gonna be dorsiflexing your toes and you're gonna be making sure that you're engaging the rest of your body. You're also, this is also when you're gonna start practicing how to get up on your toes. As sprinters, we run on our toes, running on the balls of our feet. And you wanna make sure that you're also getting your arms engaged. You wanna just have the same front side as you are on the back side. So I don't wanna see a lot of bending right here. That's not how it works. When you start bending your elbows, you start bending your shins, which means that they're gonna land behind you and you want it all to be in front of you. All right, next drill is gonna be A skip. Now we're adding a pace to it, a tempo. Um, a lot of people already know this, this is a very popular drill. You're really just gonna be doing the same um, angles as you would be in walking high knees, but you're gonna have a bit of a bounce to it. So if you start getting a little jump here, you're just gonna be raising your legs and arms at the same pace. Right. Now the thing with this drill is you wanna make sure that those legs are coming directly underneath your hips. You don't want them behind you, and you don't want them in front of your hips. Our next drill is gonna be B-skips. Now there's a lot of controversy around B-skips. A lot of people think that you should be having a long leg extended out and landing in front of you and dragging behind you. Truthfully, you wanna do this just like your A-skip. You're gonna come up, except you're gonna strike down and pull it underneath you. So instead of landing and dragging, it's a coming straight down underneath and ripping. You know, you wanna be active with it. You don't wanna expose your leg out here because after that, now you're exposing the back side of your leg, which can be prone to injury. So again, you wanna be making sure it's coming up, landing underneath you and ripping it. All right. All right, we did A skip and we did B skip, so that means it's time for C skip. Um, I think that this is where the most confusion comes from, just from rhythm in C skip. A lot of people don't know what to do with their arms and they get thrown off by moving to a lateral movement. So C skips, you're gonna come up like an A skip, then you're gonna come out, that's the C skip. And when you come out, I want you to throw your arms just a little to the side to give yourself counterbalance. Then you're gonna bring it back and you're gonna do a B skip. Again, bringing it down, ripping it, making sure it's underneath your hips. Everything needs to be coming underneath your hips because that's where you're gonna get the most power from. A straight leg, once you land, stiff, firm, it's gonna shoot the power through your body so it'll propel you into the next step. All right. And that's C skip. All right, high knees. Again, a very basic drill, but can sometimes get a little complicated based on who teaches you. The main thing that you need to know is that your legs need to be coming directly underneath you. This is the closest drill to actually running. So you want to get that feeling of power into the track and moving down the track. You don't wanna be jumping up and down. You wanna be forcing power into the track. So before we do that, we're gonna activate our calves. So we're gonna do 10 pogo hops. Eight, nine, ten. All right, now we can start the drill. Well, we lost the mic, and that shows how much power we're putting into the track. So that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, this is normally where I take a break. So go take a break, go get some water. I'll wait. All right, you back? Cool, let's go. Next drill is gonna be karaoke. Uh, to be honest, there's not much I can actually teach on karaoke. It's a lateral movement. It's really supposed to open up your hips. This might take a lot of practice. Some people are really good at it, some people aren't. 
Again, just keep practicing at it. You will get better. You can't get better at something if you don't try to repeat it multiple times. So, karaoke. And then you go back. All right, now it's time for fast legs. Now, originally when I started doing this, I became a professional, but I've seen a lot of people do this drill even when they're not. Um, so this is a good drill to learn how to control your nervous system and get it firing as you're trying to get up to top speed. So the first thing is you're gonna choose the foot that you want. So we're gonna do fast leg right. That means that our right leg will be cycling. The left leg will stay straight and it will only move in a straight leg motion. The other leg is what's gonna be producing the power to make you go forward. Just like in A skips, you're gonna be coming up, down, underneath your hips, and it'll propel you forward as you put in power. So, if you need a beginning motion to get you started easier, I would just advise to make straight legs and start tapping. And then again, with your right leg, you're gonna be bringing it up and down into the track. Now that we've done with the right, we're gonna switch over and do it with the left. So fast leg left. Again, we're gonna start our little toe taps here, straight legs, and we're gonna move the left leg since this is left leg alternate. Again, it's important to remember that it's the leg that is moving up and down that's gonna produce the power to move you down the track, not the straight leg. Also, remember that this is not a cycling drill. You're not just picking it up and putting it down as fast as you can. You're trying to produce power that will send you down the track as well with coming up and striking back down into the track underneath your hip. Okay, alternating fast legs. Now that we've done it on our right and on our left, we're gonna put them together. So every other step will switch. Again, starting with our straight leg toe taps. And after we've done alternating, now it's time for double alternating. So you're gonna hit, or we're gonna start with the right side. You'll do fast leg right two times, switch to your left side and do two times. And do that until you've reached the end of your marker. Okay, we are now at the end of the normal warm-up. So that is a warm-up that I will do anytime that I'll have a race or anytime I'm getting ready for uh, practice. But sometimes in the very early parts of the season, my coach will throw in a few extra drills just to really get our legs moving. I usually call these bonus drills. And these are specifically working on something that my coach wants us to practice later on that, that day. If you want to try them, I guess we can go through a few. First drill is the stick it drill. It's very controlling. You have to activate your core a lot and your glutes. You have to make sure that you're hitting all your angles perfectly to make this work. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strike the pose as if I was in mid-air A skip. And I'm gonna switch constantly. Now what a lot of people get confused about this drill is they'll get really lazy and their body will collapse and they'll lose balance. So it'll look like this to them. Again, that's without your body being turned on. That's without activating your core, your glutes, your hamstrings, everything you need to be active. When it's done right, it'll look like this. Again, the key points of this drill is to make sure that you turn your core on, your glutes, calves, and even your arms. When you're switching in between legs, you wanna make sure that you're really forcing those arms to switch so that it helps move your legs faster. But again, I call it the stick -a drill because you're sticking and planting and not wobbling. Our next advanced drill is gonna be the one, two, three drill. I'll just show, show this and then explain it. So, one, two, three.
Again, my mic fell off, but that's only to be natural because we are producing a lot of power. Again, with this drill, we're gonna be keeping our tempo. We're also gonna stay engorged, engaging our core, our glutes, and our calves. You wanna have really good activation on all of those if you wanna make it through this drill because you're constantly gonna be repeating a step and then switching to the other side. All right, everybody, I have hoped that you've enjoyed these drills and I hope that you've learned something. And if you haven't, thanks for coming by. Again, we are trying to reach 100K subscribers, so please share this video, like it, comment it, and uh, tell all your friends about it because we are shooting for the stars and I have a very special prize when we get to 100K. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Let's just say it involves plane rides and track meets and VIP passes. <laughs>